was a lot of fun. Yeah. You know what they gave me those lines in English? Who translated them? You wanted to do it or what? No. Oh, really? No, they gave you me the lines in English and they said translate to French, have it prepared for the audition tomorrow. Oh, I'm a, I'm a Chinese organ smuggling French speaking gangster. Awesome. <laughs> wearing right? a white Yves Saint Laurent suit. I uh, and I had to learn how to light the match with my thumb. That was real. That wasn't a oh, CG really? thing. They said, "Oh yeah, you got the role. By the way, learn how to light a match with your thumb on Thursday because we're shooting that." As I'm talking, doing this thing over and over again, we did it like 20 takes. Every single take, I had to like be in the middle of this thing and, <laughs> and light the thing. I never missed. Oh really? Yeah, even like like in between takes, the director and the producers are coming to me and like, "How do you do that?" I'm like, I'm like this. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, oh my God, quit doing that. Save it for the camera. Save it for the camera. I'm like, I could just keep. <laughs> Lighting a cigarette while I just finished dousing someone with gasoline. It's kind of, yeah. and with a certain kind of like, eh, Big deal. Big deal. Oh, yeah, by the way, you're behind on your payments or on your shipments. Yeah. Boss doesn't like it. Originally, that, that role was only a second unit shot. I was only supposed to be that night. That's it. My character wasn't supposed to reoccur or do anything. So it was just a throwaway character. And by the end of that night, the director was like, we're going to write you in. That, that was really cool because um, sometimes you get these things where you auditioned for something before and you didn't get it and then you're like, oh, and you, you spend like a couple months being like, oh, well, and then all of a sudden <laughs> they call you up and they're like, hey, you remember that casting director you auditioned for? You didn't get that part? They want to offer you a part. I was like, oh, okay. And you're like, so you don't, you don't, you don't want me to audition? Like, no, they already saw your stuff. They know you're good for it. Um, remember, remember when... Um, Lipstick Jungle and Cashmere Mafia, and, well, when Sex in the City ended, um, the producer and the writer went separate ways, and they both were like, I'm starting a new project. I'm like, oh yeah, what's yours? I'm like, it's about four women in the city. And then the other one's like, That's, mine's about four women in the city too. And they kind of went like, meh. One went to NBC, one went to ABC. ABC ended up picking up Pat Fields, the, the costume designer for Sex in the City. So that show got all, I wouldn't say all the budget, but they spent a lot of money just on clothing alone. Um, so they were under, they were over budget, beyond over budget. And I think, I don't know if ABC just couldn't, couldn't justify that because they had a lot of lead role, lead, lead characters. You had Lucy Liu, you had Miranda Otto, and I um, can't remember a couple of the other girls, the ladies too, but they were, they're like, you know, full on working, leading ladies in Hollywood. So I guess the budget got really tight, but then also it was a mid season replacement. And the problem with that particular show, like specifically, was the first night it aired, it, it, got, it did great. But they moved the second night and the third night. The second night was a lost, you know, the series lost. They had a recap. So no one, it was like, oh, it was supposed to be on Tuesday night. Lost did a recap. The next week, Obama spoke. So by the fourth time they showed the actual, by the actual second showing, it, the numbers already tanked because no one even knew when it was on. So by the fourth episode they showed, they were like, the numbers are too low, we gotta pull it. So we shot seven episodes and that was it. Yeah, can't, well, yeah, no, Samurai Girl was one of those shows that was written um, and ABC Family picked it up, yeah. which is nothing wrong with ABC Family, but it, it's a family-centered you know, network where a lot of the stuff, they don't really like dealing with adult themes much, but you know, they kind of play it. Yeah, and so you got Samurai Girl, that's like this show based on full-on revenge of, a, of an assassin at a wedding, and, and, the, it's family. and it's family. And so it's like, it, it was really, they didn't know how to quite sell it. Didn't they? Did not. Yeah, I died on the first episode, so it's <laughs> like, Tah! And she cried, and she cried, oh, and she cried. Oh, oh. It, was a, it was a French Canadian uh, co-production. Co <laughs> they played it in France, apparently, just, just played like crazy, like everyone in Paris love that show I don't think they were going any further past that series or past that that season and I ended up being just the, the last part of the last season the last five episodes Winslow Wong that's actually Chinese no the the writer wrote that in Winslow Wong if, if you know a little bit of history uh, about Bruce Lee that was his first character's name that he ever played on screen so they did an homage back to him How interesting. yeah so they gave my name Winslow Wong um, I was the, um, from the People's Republic. <laughs> you know, I worked for the People's Republic, kind of an offshoot kind of um, black organization.
where they can do whatever they want. They kind of make sure everything happens, you know, under the under under the radar. I I just landed the leading role for a new series, or not a new series. It's a continuing series in Singapore. It's called Point of Entry, and I'll be taking over for a guy who was stepping out and stepping in. He's like the, the he's the leader of a squad of kind of like. I want to say Port Authority investigators or, you know, police officers or something like that. They deal with a lot of Malaysian, Singaporean smuggling or, you know, injustice or things like that that happen through the Port Authority or happen through that, you know, they just all investigate. They sent me a character arc, they sent me the first two episodes, I'll be reading them on the plane, hit the ground and I'll be running. <laughs>